Hello everybody, what's going on? The eSight guy here, back with another video. Just wanted to come by and kind of give you an overall experience with the eSight 4 so far. Uh, one of my uh, YouTube, uh, one of my uh, subscribers suggested that I talk a little bit more about what it can do for people that have optic nerve atrophy or optic nerve hypoplasia. No, I'm not targeting that specifically, but what I'm saying is this device helps with a lot of eye conditions. Uh, optic nerve atrophy, optic nerve hypoplasia, diabetic retinopathy. Uh, there's just so too many to list that I don't even have in front of me at the time of recording this. But um, I just, overall, I'm thoroughly impressed with the eSight 4. Um, I, I think that it's a great product, and I feel like um, I'm in the process of fundraising for one of these myself. Somebody asked me, is it worth the money? My answer to that, of course, is going to be yes, just from my perspective. Um, I say that because, you know, somebody asked me once, would you put, would you put a price on site to be able to see clearly? The answer to that is, of, you know, you can't put a price on what it means to see the world. You can't, you can't put a price on what it's like to get up in the morning, to be able to tie your shoes, to make coffee, to be able to do normal everyday things that you could not do. This technology gives people their life back. Whether it's eSight 2, 3, or 4, it's the same. Now, I mean, there's absolutely, you know, not the, the units aren't the same, but what I'm saying is as the technology advances, all we are trying to do as legally blind and visually impaired individuals is see just like the rest of the world. You know, would you upgrade your, would you upgrade your glasses if you needed to see better? Of course. Maybe you have a, and I'm and I'm not trying to sound offensive here or anything, but may, maybe you have a, maybe you have hearing aids that you want to upgrade to HD. Would you do that to hear better? I would. A prosthetic, an arm or a leg, if you if there was a, a newer unit that had more tilt and range of motion, etc., you would upgrade. You would upgrade that. And I'm saying that because a lot of people are saying, well, why why do you want the this eSight for? And my answer is, you know, just, just look at what I can do. You know, just take a minute and realize what a person can do with these. You can get up and move around and not have to worry about a wire snagging on you. You can, you can do all of your general stuff with this remote right here. This is the remote that you get with the eSight 4. Um, it's uh, zoom, contrast, and some other features here. There's the narrator volume. We'll get into that in future videos. But the camera is the camera is 18 megapixels. The screen resolution is 1280 by 960. Much, much clearer. I'm going to record another video uh, tomorrow of me being outside with these and uh, post it on YouTube and give people an idea of what of how clear it is to see outdoors and see signage and so forth. I am absolutely thrilled to be able to try eSight 3. And I'm sorry, I keep saying eSight 3. I'm absolutely thrilled to try eSight 4. <laughs> I got to get used to that. I do have eSight 3. Yes, I will be keeping it for a spare. Uh, but eSight 4 will definitely be my daily driver, I, I think just because of the ability to move around mobile and do things that I couldn't do before. Uh, I encourage you to check out eSight's website. The price of eSight 4 is $5,950. Uh, current eSight users get a $1,000 discount. So $49.50 is what current users would have to pay. That is a lot of money. They do offer financing, but I recommend crowdfunding. I'm doing that right now, or, you know, fundraising through Facebook or GoFundMe. It, sh it, it shows that your community cares, and it, it also, you can also access the funds yourself and not have to worry about 
you know, where they're going, et cetera. I mean, eSight does take care of, of the funding for you with their crowdfunding platform, but I prefer myself to fundraise and see where my money is going. And I, and I would, and I like to have access to it. But anyway, um, is eSight for worth, uh, getting? Absolutely. Um, there are some, there are some quirks in there, but they're very minor. One is image stabilization. Um, I'm not picky about that sort of thing. Um, there are limitations. Uh, zoom is 24 times. I wish there was more zoom, but I know as time goes on, that'll be, they'll add more to that. I'm sure. Um, Bluetooth, the connection is sometimes kind of finicky, but it's, that's with technology. It comes and goes. None of this is, you know, bashing eSight, but it, it's just some of the things I've found with it. And the, the, the video quality for the onboard recording is kind of, I wouldn't say sloppy, but it's, it's kind of old, if you will, kind of, you know, muffled and just, just kind of, you know, not, not up to par, but I think over time, as time goes on, things will change. But my honest review of eSight 4 is that I'm definitely going to get it and use it and make my life better, and I hope all of you do as well. Please feel free to comment on the video. I ask to please keep your comments clean. Um, you know, no judging me or anyone else. This is not what I, that's not what I'm about, and I'm not, and. This is not a sponsored video. Eastside is not paying me a dime to make these videos or uh, say their name or anything like that or show this off. I'm the one who requested this just so I could get a feel for what it's like to use Eastsight 4 and be able to see clearly once again. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed the I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell to receive updates whenever I upload a new video. Everyone take care and uh, stay safe, stay well, and um, let's make the world a better place with eSight 4, and let's put an end to uh, legal blindness. Take care.